Welcome to another video and today I'm going to be showing you five things, five cool things that you can make using armor stands in Minecraft. So, the first one is a little candy apple or caramel apple, I'm not sure what to call it, but yeah. So this is what it looks like, it's like this is the apple part with the caramel on it and then the stick. Uh, the, cause if you, that's what they have. So, uh, yeah, so to make it, what you'll need is two armor stands, um, two Steve heads, now, uh, or player heads if you're in the snapshots. Now, I don't know if you can get these, uh, in, in, uh, survival mode, but if you can, that good, but if you can't, um, I guess you can't build this one. Uh, three snow layers. A piston, uh, probably just some blocks. So I'm gonna get like a ten cobblestone, and then, uh, but you can use any block, and then a redstone block, and uh, probably a pickaxe. I mean, if yeah, if you don't have one on you already, but uh, yeah. So let's uh, start. Oh, but uh, you need an end rod as well. Uh, end rod. There we go. Alright, so you'll need an end rod as well. So, to start off, you'll need to go back here. And I'll also need an axe. You you don't have to have the axe. But, anyway, you want to m dig out this block. And I'll chop it, I guess, because I'm using an axe. Anyway, and then break uh, this. I'm going to make a little spot for the to hold it. And then uh, dig out this block. Put three snow layers. And then put an armor stand, and you want its head to be uh, straight. I mean, it doesn't really have to, but it looks better if it's straight. And then go back here, uh, place a block up here, and then you want to break this block. And then you have to go back over here, um, and then go ahead and place an armor stand. But make it diagonal, so it's facing like this way. Or something and oh by the way you have to make this up against the wall or it won't look good I mean maybe it would look okay but not really uh, so you want to make it I mean it doesn't have to be straight it's not like anything that needs the head to be straight but uh, yeah so you put the player heads or Steve heads or whatever uh, onto them and then you break uh, this block and so now you'll have the caramel part but no stick and then you just got to make this and then put your piston oh put your piston power it and then break the block put one put a block here put the redstone block here break the redstone block and then you now need to uh, put a end rod on this block then break the cobblestone and you can see uh while we have a hole here and you're gonna get a dirt block or some block. And then what you need to do is power the piston with the end rod on it. And as you can see, that is all you need. Um, and it's a little more, it's a little kind of complicated. It's probably gonna be the most complex tutorial in today's video. But uh, yeah, so as you can see, it is a caramel or uh, candy apple. I'm not sure what you call it, but yeah. And it, you can see over here, it has, it does have a, um, like a, a, like, a kind of Steve head skin there. There's not much we can do about that. I mean, you could try to make it face a different direction, like this way, to cover that up, but that would be kind of complicated. But yeah, there is the first one, how to make a candy slash caramel apple in Minecraft. Now, next up, we have how to make a cute little tiny turtle in Minecraft. Now, uh, you have to be in the 1.13 snapshots to make this one but uh at least it's uh it looks cool now you may think you already have a turtle and you can just encase it in glass so it doesn't move around yeah but this is kind of like small turtle and it won't really move at all and you don't have to get glass in the way i think it's kind of cute uh of course because you're in the snapshots you have to you already have turtles so it's not like uh oh you can also do this in you could do it in 1.12 if you use a green dyed leather helmet. Actually, that might not work too well, but and also an oak button or any button, uh, because they don't you don't have birch buttons in the 12 1.12.2, but uh, or earlier. Uh, but if you're in 1.13 snapshots, you can make it look even better like this. 
And uh, so this is what it looks like. Uh, it's just a mini turtle. It's like a, it's just small, and they have no eyes. I mean, because it's so small, you can't really fit eyes on there with what you can do. Uh, and this one is doable in survival mode, so you don't have to uh, use creative mode and get the Steve heads. I mean, maybe you can do it in survival mode, get Steve heads, but I'm not sure. But anyway, let's get into this one. So what you'll need is one armor stand <clears throat> and one turtle shell. Now, to get these, if you haven't played in the snapshots yet, uh, to get them, you have to, um, I think you make it with scoot and to get scoot yeah well i mean just look it up i'm not gonna go into all of that in today's video because that would be way long video but yeah yeah turtle shell hamlet thing turtle shell and uh piston redstone block yeah, there it is and uh three snow layers so snow one two three and uh one birch button birch looks the best you can choose whatever you want but uh i'm gonna use birch all right so what we need to do i'm gonna get rid of this Alrighty, so let's start so what you need to do is uh dig two blocks down put your three snow layers and you might want to if you want to you can collect the dirt and then put a your armor stand facing the way you want the turtle to face you can't actually do it diagonally well i mean you can place the armor stand there but you want to pick a way that isn't like diagonally like like that you want to pick a like a w direction that's straight uh, is what you oh come on uh, you want to pick a direction that's straight I'm gonna face it the way I had before which is uh, this way so I'm gonna place it like this and then uh, put your turtle put the turtle shell on it I'll get a piston block of redstone break the piston break the and you have to it's important to break the piston first if you don't break the piston first it won't work and then break the redstone block. You might want to just bring a few blocks on you, actually, but anyway, uh, then you got to place a piston, uh, up here, like that, uh, well, I mean, not like that, you want to, you want to place a dirt block there, so yeah, you do need an extra block, but, uh, but yeah, you can break this, okay, and then you need to put that here, put the redstone block there, uh, break the piston or it doesn't matter what you break i'm not you actually want to break this and then break the redstone block you don't actually want to break the piston but the dirt and then redstone and there you have it you have a little turtle now you notice it's not done because what's it doesn't have a head well that's easy to fix uh you want to put a button now you'll notice that that isn't quite right and you can do this if you like it better but it looks like kind of flat on there and like kind of thick i guess or like long uh you want to actually break that you want to place it facing this way like that and there you go now you have a little turtle and uh yeah and if you're in the 1.12.2 the button you can't actually directionally place on the ground so you will have to make it facing certain directions only two directions but uh if you're in 1.13 you can do uh, all this so yeah you can make it go in all four directions, and uh, you can make it look good with a birch button and a turtle shell, uh, like the actual helmet of it. So yeah, that is the number two, how to make a cute small turtle in Minecraft. Now, uh, the baby turtles that you get in the snapshots are actually a lot smaller than this, but, surprisingly, but uh, the turtles, the adult turtles are a lot bigger than this. And uh, you can actually push the button on squash your head. No, I mean, you can, but, uh, yeah. So, uh, yeah, and you can actually, like, hide. Well, you, can, you can't actually hide red zone unless it's against the wall. But, yeah, uh, so you have to push the button to secret entrance or something. If you had it against the wall, so you could burn stone here. But, anyway, uh, yeah, so on to the next one. Now, the next one is going to be how to make a TV in Minecraft. So, what you'll need is some stairs. I'm gonna get two cobblestone stairs. They can be whatever though, and uh, stone slabs. And if you actually are in the snapshots, you can use smooth stone. But if you don't have that, you can just use uh, two stone slabs. You'll actually need four stone slabs or two of these blocks. But anyway, um, and you can use any blocks. So you could use more cobblestone stone. But anyway, you can use any block you want. And uh, yeah, so you also need and three armor stands um and two uh 
uh, not two, six snow layers. There we go, six. Um, a piston, redstone block, and probably just a bunch of blocks that you can use. I'm gonna use oak planks. Uh, let's just get 10 of them. Uh, so I need just block, and then a cobblestone wall. Uh, where is it? Yeah, there it is. Three wither skeleton skulls. Yeah, enough to make a wither. And, um, and uh, you actually need 12 snow layers, because you need two blocks of six. And, uh, hopefully I didn't forget anything. I think that's all you need. And now, what we need to do is just grab ourselves probably like a, a pickaxe. And maybe a shovel. You don't have to, or but you might need to. Uh, but yeah, so let's get going. It's kind of a complicated one. And, or not, maybe not complicated, but you need a lot of materials. But we can uh, get going with it. So first, what you need to do is break these blocks. And then go ahead and put... Uh, you want to put six snow layers. Is that right? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, put six snow layers like that. Uh, there should be four pixels remaining from this. These blocks here, four pixels up. But anyway, and then what you need to do is grab your armor stands and you wanna place two of them in the holes and make sure they're facing straight. So these are pretty straight. Uh, and But if they're not straight, then you need to break them and place them again until you get a straight one because sometimes their heads can be like tilted wrong or sort of but anyway you need to put your skeleton wither skeleton skulls on all these uh, and then you want to put a cobblestone wall here piston a stone block and then break it and then you need to uh get a piston put the push the armor stand this one, uh, whoops, <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. Uh, go ahead and push that in there, and it should look like that. Need to go and place some blocks here. And then you want to uh, go ahead and break the cobblestone wall, because we don't need that anymore. Um, and uh, then you need to get a piston, get the piston, I guess. And then uh, place the redstone block. And then don't break the red, you can't break the redstone block first. You have to break the piston first. So you do that, break the redstone block, and then uh, place the piston, place the redstone block, break the piston, then the redstone block, that's important. Then uh, you should look something like this. Then what you need to do is break these blocks, and we have like a row of three armor stands basically. Uh, and then we want to go up, up here, and uh, we want to yeah, uh, put some blocks up here and then we want to uh, make something. So we need to grab that, oh, how'd that happen? I was, I didn't have W pressed. Well, anyway, let's just, uh, like if I, and eh, whatever. Uh, you need to grab your stairs and then you can put your stairs like this and then put your four slabs like this um, put your, make some, put some blocks here, break this one, then put the piston, power it, break the redstone block, put a block here, get the redstone block, put it there, and then you need to, it should look like this now, and then break that, break that, break that, and then collect everything and then you need to um, now break this and then you need to put a piston uh, put the piston here and then uh, put the redstone break it and then put the oak planks and then wait a okay here it is and then place that and there you go you're done with the TV uh, so there you go so now if you just break all these here and break everything and uh, unfortunately you will see these little sticks here but that's kind of nice actually I kind of like it it looks like there's like supports holding up the TV and there it is now you can place the the armor stands facing backwards so that you don't see the faint faces but other than that uh, it kind of looks it's like this 
And uh, if you do want to, you can get some levers and uh, place them uh, like like this. You can place them like this. And then it can like, look like those old-fashioned TVs. And uh, you could add one more snow layer if you want the armor stands to be in the middle of it. But uh, yeah, so that's the third one, how to make a TV in Minecraft. Now, the next one I have is sort of a wheel stool. So, uh, so it's like a stool on wheels. Uh, yeah, if that makes any sense. So what you need is, um, well, you need two armor stands and you need uh, a piston, a redstone block, and really that's it. I mean, you also need a slab, but that's pretty much it. Now you could also, make this a chair which i'll get into later but uh anyway let's go ahead and start so what you need to do is um go ahead and dig out two blocks and then you want to um oh my mistake you also need a hopper uh but yeah so you need to place the hopper here and you need to uh place some blocks up uh like this and then actually need this uh, you need to place blocks up and then go ahead put in uh put your armor stand like this and then your armor stand like this so now it looks like this it's like a cross sort of like it's like an x kind of it's more like an x not really a cross but uh then you want to place dirt or i mean you can do grass if you have it but for most of you if you don't have silk touch you'll have just dirt if you're doing it in survival like me but anyway or i'm sort of doing whatever and then you need to place a uh, a slab here no no not like that you need to place a slab up like this and then power it all right then you can uh, break all this and there you have it you have a little stool on wheels i mean it looks like it's on wheels it's actually kind of it's with armor stand but yeah and so it looks like you could kind of push it around because it looks like it's kind of on wheels and yeah and then you could turn this into a chair by uh adding like brown carpet so if you get uh brown then you can place it like this so it blends in with the wood and everything so you have to make it brown i mean i guess you could use other colors but uh yeah and you don't even have to have that you don't even have to have a carpet if you put a trap door like this and then you can break in you're fine but if you want it to look connected not like corner connected then you will um might want to add some carpet or maybe even just a trap door but that kind of looks weird because it's got holes and everything but if you use like a a trap door that had no holes in the new snapshots then you're okay but you can open it and everything but uh, you can do that if you want and then you can jump up onto it and then ta-da but you might want to just have a carpet because that's it looks kind of big like this and not blends in much but a carpet kind of has a different weird shade of brown compared to this you might need to use spruce if you want it to blend in and you can even if you're in the snapshots use this as the back so now you have a cold chair that looks like you is on wheels so you can like push it around or something and if you could do that now that looks pretty good if you're using the same kind of trapdoor like that then uh but it kind of looks weird like there's a chair and it's on a stool it's kind of weird but i like this but yeah you can do anything you want if you're in, not in the snapshots you can use uh you can just use your regular oak but yeah looks pretty good in my opinion and it has it looks like it's on wheels um and they're like yeah okay they're, they're connected so it's not like there's like a whatever so yeah that's up the number what is it one two three that's the four number four spot how to make like a stool slash chair on wheels in minecraft so normally chairs don't really have wheels in minecraft like you never really see that but yeah so for the number five spot i'm going to be showing you how to make a candle in minecraft now there should be a card on the screen right now taking you to a video I made a while a while ago on, well, actually quite a long time ago, on how to make a candle in Minecraft. And 
Um, and basically that is the, it's the same tutorial, just in a video with a bunch of other tutorials. So yeah, um, so I'm sure a lot of you haven't seen it yet. So I'm sure I'm, I'm just gonna do it again in this video. So what you need to do is, uh, first off, if you have your place where you wanna put it, you break uh, this, you break this, and then put three, oh, you also, you, you need three snow layers, a piston, a block of redstone and armor sand, a skeleton skull, and if you don't know how to get those, get a charged creeper to uh, to blow up a skeleton and it should drop its head, a redstone torch, and uh, blocks, I guess, uh, if you, you might need that, if you, you might not, I don't know. Anyway, you want to, so then, resuming, we place three snow layers, place our armor stand, Now you want it to be as straight as possible, um, uh, mostly, I mean, it doesn't have to be super straight, but, uh, it might look better if it's straight. Um, anyway, you want to add stuff like this. You want to put our, uh, you pissed in, not your armor friend, you already have that. Uh, you want to break the redstone block and then place that. Get the redstone block, place that, and then break that. Break that, and break that. And there you go. It's pretty simple. All you have to do now is just place your redstone torch. And there you have it. It's a pretty simple tutorial. But it looks pretty good. Um, and if you don't want it this kind of bright skin, which is like... Well, it's not skin because it has no skin. That's the point. The skeleton. But uh, if you want it to look, don't want to have like get brighter here, sort of. You can make it face the other direction, and the back doesn't have that. I don't think maybe it does, but no, it doesn't. So yeah, you can make it face backwards, and uh, if you don't like that, but I think it's pretty. It's still fine, and uh, yeah. And then you might think, why didn't I use a torch? Well, you can use a torch. It's perfectly fine. But torches, redstone torches, give off less light than redstone torches, I mean, bleh, redstone torches give off less, less light than torches, regular torches, and uh, candles don't, like, light up a whole room like a torch would, so that's why I have, why, that's why it's a redstone torch, uh, but you can use a torch if you're not, like, making it realistic or whatever, uh, but yeah, that's another five spot, how to make a candle, now, I guess, um, you might want it to be a different block so you can see the skeleton and skull easier, but, so yeah, that's what it looks like on how to make a candle in Minecraft. So that is just about it for the video, or well, it is, basically, so that that's about it for the video, and, uh, so that is at the top, well, I don't know the top, but five things that you can make using armor stands in Minecraft. We have the caramel apple, or candy apple, uh, we have, um, the turtle, the mini turtle, and we have the TV, we have uh, the chair, and uh, well, I guess you can do this to it, <laughs> it's like a, oh yeah, that's cool, it's like a, a back, or it's like a, a chair you can lay down, some chairs you can like lay down in them if you make them go back, so you can now like lay down, of course you can't in Minecraft, but yeah, you could lay down, and if you put, you can maybe put a bed on here, <laughs> anyway, uh, and then it can be a normal chair, so it's like a, uh, a ch convertible chair as well, so that's pretty cool, and a candle, so yeah, that's about it for the video, if you did enjoy the video, do not forget to leave a like, and subscribe for more videos, and I'll see you in my next one, hope you enjoy!